M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos on the ICOM 7300 Mark II here, which at the moment is not connected to an antenna. Now I've already made one video, but people noticed, and, and, and I should have noticed, that the RF gain is turned slightly to the left. Okay, now I feel it didn't make hardly any difference to the previous video, but it did make a difference because it's set there and the RF gain is at the top on the 7300 Mark One. One of the noticeable things that we note that we saw was that the the the, the actual waterfall is slightly different. Um, so if we just now we're going to turn the gain back to make sure both is 12 o'clock. The span is 100k, and if we if we just tap on the screen here go reflector and just wind that back or sorry reference level wind that back so we can see the waterfall a lot clearer and we'll do the same if i just quickly flick i'm using an antenna switcher this time and so the reflect the reference is 1.5 and like you'll see that it's minus nine nine point five there. Now if I take it to one point five, we're trying to get it like for like. And so take a look at the waterfall there. Just zoom in a bit. I mean they're both fantastic radios. The main difference. Uh, is basically the HDMI out, CW decode, USB-C output, and there's an Ethernet connector on the number two. So you see the waterfall there, and I'm going to flick it back to the 7300 Mark One, and I will show them both. But you'll see, in my opinion, it's a thicker sort of blue. The waterfall, though you can still see all the signals, no problem. It's a thicker sort of blue. And let's uh, flip back. So we're on the two. And you'll see, it's, see what I mean? It's like a, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's a different shade of blue. The waterfall seems go back up to the other one has more detail to it you know anyway, let's just listen to signals now so turn down we're going to turn up we've got no noise reduction no noise blanker filter one filter one It's not the strongest signal, but that's good. RF gain the same. Now let's flick. So signal from the the, the, the net keeper. <coughs> Same antenna, forty nine to one unun, sixty six foot length of wire. Five to seven. Same. I'll flick back quickly. Let's try the noise blanker. Sorry, noise reduction, sorry. Press and hold four. 
off on. We'll turn it on here as well. Four. So at the moment it's on. Mark one. Don't forget the speak, the radio is on top of the radio, so it's going to muffle the speaker a little bit. So otherwise, to use the radio, it's identical, apart from <clears throat> if you go to CW, see if we can find a CW signal. You tap the frequency, you can change the frequency. You tap the mode, you can change the mode. Everything's the same. So we try and find CW. You can press and hold on the naught. You get the extra naught for fine tuning. I'm impatient. Menu, CW, decode. And we're a bit out, aren't we? It's quite slow morse. It's picking it up, no problem. Look, mic, 7-3. The other change is if you go menu, set, network, you've got a network connection, okay? So, you know, then it comes to, because the obvious one is that you're getting from people is, should I sell my 7300 Mark I to get the Mark II? Now, my opinion, and this is my personal opinion, yeah? If you're gonna buy a new radio, the 7300 Mark II is a great choice and definitely, definitely better to spend the full price of this than get the older model if the older one's going to cost you about 900 pound now if you can buy these for five to six hundred pound from someone then it's definitely worth thinking about because i know we've got the ethernet connector on this one but you can do that with the 7300 mark one you can add uh, wfu use the usb cable and wfu will act as a server and give you internet access then you can connect to rsba1 uh, using your USB cable. This radio will always have to be connected to your PC. Um, and with this one, you've got the Ethernet connection, or you can you can still use the USB. Um, as regards the CWD code, well, you've got a USB out here. You can pipe this, this a cable to your PC and decode CW with some good software. But this does work very well. Um, so I, I think it's a really tough choice. Now, I... I would rather have the newest model, the latest model, because and I think many, many hams also would, um, and they're willing to pay for that privilege. But if you have got 7300 Mark One and you're not really interested in upgrading, then it's, you know, getting the newer version, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. I'm looking into the receive antenna on the back because you've got the in and the out. Now, when you start using the receive antenna on the Mark Two. It, it disables, as far as I can see, and correct me if I'm wrong, when you connect the PL259 to the normal 
SO239 and you select, if you go menu here, no actually not menu, it's function, and you select the receive antenna, and if I flick back, let's come out of CW a minute, go back to normal mode, just exit out of there, make sure I flick to the right one, they've both got the oscilloscope of course let me just go five six lsb sorry i'm faffing a bit right you'll see i've got no signal now if i go function yeah back to normal so I have to physically get the antenna, or another antenna, connect it to the, it's the SMA that's nearest to the big fan, and then I will receive on that. So you can effectively have two antennas connected on receive. When you transmit, you're always going to transmit out of the SO239 connector. So they have sort of given you dual connections, but you can only use one of the antennas at a time. But that makes sense because you only got a single screen. Now, I've had mixed reports and I've been told to look at menu number 76. Uh, page 76 in the manual about the about the other connector which is the out so the rx out of this radio and that it's more designed of, to balance to balance an antenna so i'm going to definitely be checking that out because i was assuming maybe wrongly uh, that the reason you have the out is so you can connect it to an sdr um, but i've had a friend message me saying that's not the way it works so i'm going to be checking that otherwise I mean, it's an amazing set. This one is about eight years old, but it's in pristine condition. It's definitely more bolder colours. You can change colours, you know, press and hold. And you can change colours if you like to make everything red and, and that. It's not hard to do. But otherwise, you know, the, the bare bones of the radio, if you ask me, when using it, it's the same. The screen does, is, is different. It's not massively noticeable. I would say it's a bit crisper within the waterfall. But overall, with the frequency... No, but this is an older radio as well, and they do... The screens do degrade over, over time. So I think that's it. And, um, you know, the RF gain on the other video that I made was literally there at 5 to... 5 to 12 so it didn't really make hardly any difference to the the video if i put this one on 5 to 12 leave that one at 12 flick it back and just go ooh, let's go back where we were but the amount of people that message as if it was a major major thing so this is as it was in the last video weak signal there and this is it exactly the same settings as the last video and i had 200 people message me saying thanks for the video that really gives me an idea of what i want to do i had 10 people message me really exaggerating the whole all oh, the rf gain has been was because they could see the words rf gain they couldn't see the line on here it says RFG when you turn the gain on and acted like the, the basically that the video was a total load of rubbish and that is just people being rude anyway happy christmas stay positive 73 thanks for watching